Is Hank okay? This is my main concern. Do we understand? Natasha's main concern for the day? Is Hank all right? That's my concern. That's my main concern. Let's find out if he's all right, shall we? Hello, my lovely lot. Thank you so much for coming back today. We are back with another episode of Breaking Bad. I'm very, very excited to get into it. Last episode was absolutely mental. I mean, if you watched it, if you haven't watched it yet, definitely head back to that video and go and check it out. But if you did watch it, then you know it was mildly, incredibly traumatizing for your gal. Mildly, incredibly traumatizing. You will have seen my soul just temporarily leave my body. I'm happy to report back to you that my soul is back inside my body. I'm here, I'm available, I'm ready to watch. But yes, your girl is really excited to get into it today. I want to find out, is Hank okay? Is Hank okay? I feel like Hank is going to be absolutely traumatized after what just happened. Like your man was already having not a great time of it, you know, not a great time of it at all. So I really don't think this is going to do him any good whatsoever. I'm really hoping that he decides to go back home. I don't want Hank to die. So yes, I'm not going to jibber jabber on too much today, my guys. We want to get straight into it. Is it just me? Or today, am I giving like Sporty Spice, Baby Spice crossover? When you were little, did you see S Club Juniors? Like the little mini versions of S Club that they did? Anybody? Leave a comment if you saw that. S Club Juniors. I feel like I'm giving the girl that didn't make it into like Spice Girls Juniors like 20 years on. And I'm okay with it. But yes, a hell of a lot happened in the last episode. Oh, my life, my actual life. So everybody thinks that Jesse is like some badass, like I will squish your head with an ATM kind of gangster guy now. Um, Walt is absolutely like thriving on his little ego. I think he's kind of forgetting the reason that he actually started doing this. I know some of y'all are going to be like, I know, but he's been through so much. But yeah, like, you, you know, your gal literally doesn't care right now. So better leave those excuses at the door because your girl's really not interested whatsoever. No, you know what I mean? Like, there's a way to be with people. There's a way to be with people especially if you are like a criminal there's like a way don't we believe in karma does nobody believe in karma except for me anyway you know your girl is absolutely guilty of waffling on i haven't even nearly covered like what happened in last week's episode but do we care right now no so with that said let's get into it this is breaking bad season two episode eight all right rodney and my cup of tea rodney and my cup of tea you um selling? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, if you were selling... You're kidding, right? Dude, I so smell bacon. What? what? Uh, how about over there? That brown van? That's yours, right? What brown van? What? It's a cop van. Yeah, oh, no. over there. Stop. Is it with the cops? Can't you at least be original? <laughs> Dude, I just want to get high. Oh, you know what you should do? It's a garbage truck. Oh my God, seriously, he's giving him tips. No way, I'm seriously thinking that there's cops in the back of a garbage truck. Well, you are truck. now because you've given him the tip and you thought it's about it. <laughs> it's a freebie. Think about it. All right, I'm hitting it. Whoa, you dudes give up that easy? I'm not a cop. And lift your shirt. Is he actually Show not? not wearing a wire. Nope, he can't, can he? Or can he? Ah, I'm blinded by white. <laughs> <laughs> Me, you don't have to hit don't walk away angry. Sit down. No, Come I on. feel like he is going to be I mean, what, wired what up somewhere about? else, maybe. Whatever, dude. I'm not even sure I want to buy anymore. I mean, I, I think you turned me off to the whole thing. <laughs> I just need you to prove it, you know? No, I don't prove know. Prove you're not a cop. How the hell am I supposed to do yeah, that? How is that? That is it dude? Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, it no will way. be. He'd kick my ass. On a bench if it's not, is it? <laughs> ah, so hard. <laughs> so hard. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm in a feisty mood today. You know, <laughs> if you ask a cop if he's a cop, he's like obligated to. Constitution of America? Is it? Just go ahead and ask. You a cop? That. Ask it like official. Ask it like official. Oh, no, I am not a police officer. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. 170 price is the price, yo. All right. No, I can't tell if it's going to like flip and say that he is a cop, but... Oh, no, I don't know. Thanks, man. No, why do I feel like the... No, it's so dodge up. Albuquerque police, run right Oh, right. oh my ground. God, I fucking knew it. What an idiot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, this is getting so fucking good. Steve Steely. 
I better call Saul. Oh yes, I better call Saul. Partying, minding my own business. Oh, we thought he was gonna get him out of jail. Constitution says you do. So do I. Every man, woman, and child in this country. Oh, that was where Jesse and James are. Oh, they've been having a good time. Man's not even got a real bed yet, has he? Don't think I can smell that weed. My dad will keep your security deposit. <laughs> he can keep it. Has he um, ever caught you? Um, yeah. Many times. <laughs> but listen, um, since I lost my deposit at all. Is she not really that into it? Sure. Well, is it cool if I um, burn one? Maybe you'll change your mind. Mm, yeah, I just don't think she's into it, is she? Do what you want to do, I guess. Yeah, feel the vibe, Jesse. Oh. She's, she's not being hey. a total jackass about it. Let's she's say. just, you know, it's not her vibe. Like, it's fine. I just have to go as well. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> She just flicked money at him. What's oh, this? No. My 18 month chip. I'm in recovery. You know. Oh. Pot. It's like. Stepping oh, stones. Fair. Fair to her. Do you know what? Fair to her. That's, that's cool. Oh. Right on. Um, oh my god. Is she going to be a good influence that. on him? No, I would I love don't that really for him. Burn much anymore. It's just a sometime thing. Oh. But, so, um. You want to go grab some some dinner? I could really go for some Chinese. It'd be cool. Mm, she's not 100%. Your satellite's on, by the way. <laughs> that screen's badass. Oh, bless. And yeah. She's letting you know that it's like, okay, Jesse. But maybe she'll be a really good influence on him. But I am earning double time, so there's a bright side. She's so when Della. I washed those sneakers and I said bye mm. to let them air dry this time. I don't want to bang the hell out of my dryer. So looking at the but bump. You don't even get casual Saturday. You look nice is all. It's work, Walt. Everybody's going to be there. Maybe we'll order a pizza tonight? Mm. Bye. Listen, if she wants to look nice for work, she wants to look nice for work. Oh, God. I just don't like him at the minute. And listen, I, you know I don't love Skylar, so it's like, probably something going on if I'm more on her side than his. I'm surprised it changed it to Flynn. I need to talk to you. I, I'm... Hey, Marie. It's me. What's oh, up? No, God bless her. Has he come back home? He didn't even tell me he was coming. Um, a man was killed. The Federale, right in oh front of him. God. One lost his leg. It's that like. It was wild. Jesus. I had to hear about it from Steve Gomez. Oh, I was in to total shock. With the man, he hangs up the phone, goes right back to bed. Mm. I'm fine. I'm fine. Leave me alone. Oh, bless him. He's really not fine. Mm. Oh, but I'm glad that he's come home though. David and now. Oh, bless. Uh, it's it's me, Hank. Mm. Sorry. Yeah, maybe you can talk Buddy, to another she... guy about it. Um, I just... I'm feeling so bad for him. So, um... Mm. You know, Montezuma's revenge, big time. I mean, everything's going through me like uh, crap through a tin horn. <laughs> Close. Mm, bless. Oh, he's acting like That's he's just got chances. some, like, Tommy Bug or something. I guess you you heard about what happened down in Juarez. Mm. Terrible. Oh, God, please try and speak to him. The apocalypse now down there. Colonel Kurtz holed up in his jungle. Mm, he was trying to like make half a. And my shack in El Paso sends me it. home. You know, you don't you, you don't put your second most senior man on the trail of those motherless bastards. You send them. You know, he, he's out getting an evidence bag and put that a scratch on him. So, must be something wrong with that picture. You know. Mm, babe, you need to break us. Why? So you find it by ear. To be determined. Oh, to be determined. I kind of hope he stays home. With somebody. What a shrink? No, 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 no. I can't go down that road. Start going down that road. I don't road. like the term Kiss shrink. Career, goodbye. Or Marie. It's like derogatory for some reason. You know, uh, I don't know how to say this. I, I, uh, you and me, 
don't have much of a, what you might call an experiential mm-hmm. You have no idea, my guy. <laughs> you have absolutely no idea. <laughs> ah, that's so funny because... I have mm-hmm. spent my whole life frightened of things that could happen. <laughs> Me on a daily basis. <laughs> might happen. I get over it quick. 50 years. <laughs> I mean myself awake at three in the morning. I thought you were going to tell me about the drugs then. I sleep just... <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's free, you know. Well, it would be scary, but uh, to some you extent, I suppose it'd be f- almost free. And you kick that bastard as hard as you can right in the Yep. Teeth. Go on, Walt. Give him a bit of encouragement. Go on, Hank. Yeah. Sit up straight and puff your chest out, our kid. Yeah. You're a tough nut, Hank. You can do it. Again. Listen, if Walt can be out there and all that, although Walt wasn't in like a freaking bomb situation, but if Walt can handle it out there, how a hanky boy can. Running 24 hours a day. Oh, <laughs> oh it's the earring of Jane. Not you got 10. I think I just heard the dogs go off as well. Sorry about that, guys, if you heard it. <laughs> I'm just saying hello to you. <laughs> Three pounds should be 48 each. Who's short? Badger hasn't kicked in his full amount. I know he's oh, planning he's on pulling all night. And sleep after we're paid. Lord have mercy. Why you gotta be? Not his pal. <laughs> You're his boss. This only works Such when they're model. scared of you. It's going straight to voicemail. Oh God. Oh voicemail. no. I wonder if they find Just out. Chill. Combo. You see Badger? Yo, don't you cover for him, bitch. I ask you a straight up question. Oh, no. I expect a straight up answer. He's <laughs> like, look at me being a badass. Too scared to tell me. Oh, because they think look at it, they think he'll come He's for him, like squish the reds. <laughs> now if I could only learn to lick myself. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's good to see like? you. Good to, good oh, to see you. Oh, All right. Brave face. Bless it's all back to work. My office, man. See what you bozo's been up to lately. You okay? Hanging in? Mm. Is this from APD. And checking in with them, see if they come across that famous blue meth of yours. <laughs> Themselves an honest to God dealer. I was thinking of cruising over and saying hello. Oh God. Maybe you'd like to go with me. I don't All think right. I don't think Batcher's gonna Face say you anything, a cop, but... man. I feel manipulated. I thought we were gonna hang out. I feel manipulated. <laughs> I like people who don't like abuse the constitution. I'm trying to help you here, man. No. Badger is not bad. He's not. I think this can end very well for you. And what are you doing, detective? What are you doing talking to my client without being present? <laughs> you sneaky Pete. <laughs> sneaky is, Pete. What, I'm going to like this guy. You <laughs> He's got the energy. Why don't you say anything stupid? By anything stupid, I mean anything at all. I, I, I look at your mouth open. <laughs> detective, have your kindergarten teacher read them to you, right? Go grab a juice box. Have a nap. Go on. Oh, he knows his stuff is sold, doesn't he? Brandon Mayhew. Brandon Mayhew. Right. Oh, bless him. Brandon Mayhew. Oh, Brandon. You've gone and got yourself in a spot of bother. The rest of us with a big flat screen TV, 50 channels of pay-per-view. I was the guy who was selling meth, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Okay, all right, I got you. Meth, right. I'm sorry, that was a little transpositional error. <laughs> Nothing little white out. Oh, it's somebody else. <laughs> Barely. The cops are around here like butchers. Always got their thumbs on the scales, you know. But good luck arguing that. <clears throat> Let me get down to brass tacks. I'm going to get you a second phone call. The parish priest or your Boy Scout leader. And they're going to deliver me a check for it down on the back of my business card, okay? Four, zero, okay? And I need that. The cashier's check. Actually, uh, I want it in a money order. It's uh, totally legit. It's done just for tax purposes. And after that, we can discuss uh, or master with it. Don't even ask, all right? Any questions? Oh, did he even take half uh, that in? Look like your high school girlfriend, five fingers, no waiting. <laughs> That's a joke, Brandon. Lighten up. I promise you this. I will give you the best criminal defense. Yeah, but Francesca, really? I took these already. Didn't I take these already? It's bad for the liver. <laughs> well, that one went public defender. Thanks for nothing. Hey, what happened to my masturbator, Francesca? You got me all... What's hang on. See I'll get my sense you're discussing my client. Anything you care to share with me? Sure, your commercials? They suck ass. <laughs> <laughs> she better act in an epileptic whorehouse. Come on, Hank. Is that like the one your mom works <laughs> in? Is she still offering the two-for-one discount? <laughs> D.A. <laughs> D-A. Ah, I like him. I really like him. Feds. 
<laughs> Sooner or later, this is gonna happen. <laughs> you guys are gonna get busted. Simple as that. So True. How about we get him a real attorney? What? Are you kidding me? This is the guy you want. This is the guy I'd hire. Oh, really? Oh, oh well. <laughs> Well, Walt doesn't think much of that, Jesse. They had him dead to rights, yo, and then poof. Seriously, when the going gets tough, you don't want a criminal lawyer, right? You want a lawyer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Right, I see, I see, I see. But we're in good shape, Mr. White. Badger's way too loyal of me, right? We pay for large cost of business. He's dead shitless of you. Take it out of his payroll. And it's only his first dealing rap, so worst case scenario, he does five months picking up litter in an orange jumpsuit. Just as good so to pick it out. So I don't need them seeing my face. You look like his typical clientele. <laughs> Dick. Rude, but also true. Fine. We'll flip for it. Oh god, who's Call gonna it. get it? Heads. It's tails. <laughs> what? Is that inside? Yeah, <laughs> wait in me. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> a lot of mercy. Oh my god, the kids crying absolutely do my little tits in. Oh, look at you. Should I uh, call the FBI and tell them I found DB Cooper? <laughs> I love Saul, he's so funny. Come on. He's great. I please. actually love him. It's a shame that we have to meet under these circumstances. I believe you have something for me. Oh, the money. Yes. Mayhew. Is that uh, Irish or English? A fellow potato eater. <laughs> a fellow potato eater. That was not yeah, a best the best Irish accent from you there, so I'm not going to lie to you. I digress. Fact is, your nephew is going to get out in no time. There's still a few details to be ironed out, but now that the DEA is involved, I'm served oh my God. and probation. So leave your number with Francesca oh and uh, She's gonna we'll know be in that. touch. Drug Enforcement Administration, the feds. I hope that I'm not the breaker of bad news, but your nephew got mixed up with some... I understand that, but what does that have to do with the DEA? Heavy hitter goes by the Heisenberg. <laughs> <laughs> wants some turkey. Jesus, cheer up. Uh, this is good news. I mean, Brandon fell headfirst into the doo-doo pile and Taco uh, Yeah, I, but Walt did look, look, I, I just think that we should review our options. Oh. Uh, okay, and you got a grand total of two. Option A, Brandon takes the deal. Option B, Brandon goes up to the penitentiary and gets his rectum resized about you. Oh yay my big. god. <laughs> well, look, look. Not the rectum. Price of Brandon informs on this. What are you going to realize is Saul going to put two and two together and be like, this is Heisenberg. The kid keeps spouting off about if, if I talk, they'll kill me, blah, blah, blah. You know, right now. <laughs> he thinks Jesse will literally state. smash his head in. No, that's not good. That's terrible. Oh, trust me, sir. That's your nephew terrible. won't last. It's good for Walt, though, Saul. You work in some witness protection. No, look, look. These are, are vicious, desperate people. I, I, I've been told that, that one of them killed another man. <laughs> people loved yeah. it. The guy who got his head smushed used to be a client. His wife killed him, <gasps> right? It was open and shut. So Trust nice. me, you folks have nothing to worry about, okay? I'm going to set oh your nephew God. straight. Right, so at least we can drop like that then now, though, because right I know that the that's the way that's gone down. Yeah. <laughs> He's dropping him 10 grand. He's going to know. 10,000. Cash to you. I'm not saying to throw the case. Just oh, but he's no gonna talking to the DEA. Throw Badger in though. He's gonna make. Are you saying what I think Badger you're saying? Badger go to jail. What's it going to be? Oh, what, do you want to take what? a bribe? Oh Bad wow, he didn't there. take a bribe. So good. Threatened to call the police. Wait, and Badger's gonna spill? Like the Exxon oh, Valdez. No. So what do we do about it? Oh, bugger! What do we do about it? Mm. Oh no, they're gonna like threaten him instead. Hey, Francesca, for safety! What? No, is that what they're gonna do? God, you are killing me with that booty. <laughs> you are killing me with that booty. <gasps> yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Oh no, 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 no! No, it wasn't me, it was Ignacio! He's oh the my one. god. Oh, no. oh my oh, no. god, as if the rat actually getting into please, it like I this. I just speak English. <laughs> Lalo didn't send you? No, Lalo? Oh, <laughs> oh. He's worried it was somebody else. Anything, just tell me what, what you need. This afternoon, $10,000. You should have taken it. 
Wait a minute. This is this is in regards to to what's his name? Badger. Badger. The uncle. The the uncle. That was your guy. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, guys, but I, I don't take bribes from strangers. You know, better safe than sorry. Oh, That's my right, motto. Fair enough. But, that offer's expired, yo. <laughs> oh, it was kind of low, anyways. But, but okay, okay. <gasps> he was kind of low, anyway. It. I'm easy. I'm gonna keep a happy thought. And assume <laughs> this is just a negotiating tactic. I'm gonna keep a happy thought. To I hope so. Careful. He's hilarious. You're the best legal representation yeah. ever. Ever. But All right, Badger will not identify anyone to anybody. If he does, why don't you just kill Badger? Uh. Oh my God! Bite you on the ass. You don't go gunning for the mosquitoes, attorney. <laughs> go grab mosquitoes a fly swatter. Can it be for you? We're not killing Badger, yo. Then you got real problems, okay? Because oh the DEA God. is gonna come down on your boy like a proverbial ton of bricks. Oh no! I mean, I, they're I also gonna kill Badger. Celine Dion, regardless of what you do to me. Oh yeah, that's a good bloody point. <laughs> it won't really matter, will it? Like Badger no, so will you, know at some point. Take that mask off, you know. Get some air. Go on. Get, get some air. In the nicest way, it's got a massive like hole. Take it easy. Breathe He's in. already seen his face, to be fair, Jesse. Okay, now, now listen, the three of us are going to oh, work this bless. out. Yeah? First things first, you're going to put a dollar in my pocket, both of you. You want attorney-client privilege, don't you? So that everything you say is strictly between oh, us. All right, so we've got to pay him. Come on, do it. <laughs> That's it, come on. Just a He's dollar. a great character. Right, Hope he stays in it for a bit. Be smart. What? Okay, you're now both officially represented by Saul Goodman and Associates, right? Take the ski mask off. I feel like I'm talking to the weather underground here. <laughs> <coughs> you might as well. Okay, so if a prison shanky is completely off the table. No shanking! <laughs> right, right. No shanking! <laughs> It's just a matter of who. Lame ass TV ads aside, you're uh, don't observe no probation. It's pretty slick. Couldn't believe the judge went for it. Don't get cocky. You ain't uh, you ain't home free yet. Agent, the uh, tough guy act is unnecessary. This young man is cooperating. Yeah, you cooperate. I do love Hank back in his element, but okay. Let's start with a name. He just goes by Heisenberg. Heisenberg. Oh. Huh? I'll just giving him just that's it, Old, just the name. Like fifty or seventy or something. Like fifty or I, seventy. I have a color hair. No hair. Nineteen sixty. That's quite James Edward Kilkelly is convicted <gasps> of stealing a vent. Nineteen eighty four armed robbery. Idea and here he is today. Better known as Jimmy In and Out. Oh, City, state, and federal. No he spent forty four of the last fifty eight years. Inside. Yeah, of course. I suppose Hank's not going to assume it's Waltz because he's course. also a bald person. Jimmy will go to prison for you on purpose. Huh? The guy oh goes God. to prison on purpose. He's actually more comfortable inside. The outside world hasn't been too kind to him. Sometime during the Clinton administration, Jimmy figured out how he could use his talents to turn a profit. No way. That is crazy. Do you think people actually do that in real life? The buy is set for tomorrow. Cops bust Jimmy, Badger gets out, everybody's happy, and all it's going to cost you is 80000 and one <gasps> pound of your finest meth. $80,000? Did he just say? First of all, he's not going to do eight years. See, there's going to be some unexpected problems with the prosecution's case. Oh Secondly, he gets 30. 50 goes to me. Stop. You 50. Who's taking a bigger risk? He likes prison. <laughs> you did bring the cash, didn't you? He likes prison. Hey, look, if this badger in the chow line. <laughs> oh, they actually got 80,000. I didn't know if they'd have 80,000. Conscience gets expensive, doesn't it? Oh... Conscience gets expensive because they could have just offed him for a lot cheaper. Wow. All right, there's our boy. Oh, is this meant to be? All oh, right, of course, Natasha. An idiot. This is the setup thing. Oh, whoa, whoa, go back. I wonder if All people right. actually do All this in real life. Right. You tell me they've not just noticed that happened. The DEA haven't just noticed no. Walt's car do that. What do you think? Uh... Nah, oh, man, I, I think we're good. There's no way I'd be parking that bloody close one with a pair of binoculars, are we sure? Badger looks like a lot of mess. Let's hope that none of them have got good eyesight and they turn around, Jesse. Should have been here ten minutes ago. 
You think Jimmy's actually for real? Oh, the guy who wants to God. be in prison? What? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, no, 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 no. Let me see. What? Is that not him? Oh. Mr. Heisenberg, I presume. Oh, my God. Time to move. Is this, we see the exchange. is this random guy going to get arrested right now? Let's do this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Oh, my no. god. <laughs> oh my god. Jimmy's on the wrong bench. No. Uh, we're oh my fucking god. What are you doing? Oh my god. 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 This is giving me the ick. Where's the stuff, man? Where are we going? Just shut up! Is he gonna drive around and like say something? Whoa, man, this is risky as The DA is right there, they see me. We're screwed. Get out, I'll do something. What to oh do? God, what's he gonna do? Oh my god, what's he gonna do? This is so exciting! <laughs> what's he gonna do? Oh, 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 holy Scheisenberg. Hey, I oh. thought that was you! Oh. How you doing? Are you feeling okay? Oh Straighter, my I'm god, blocked. stop. This work, we're clever, working. Okay, clever, Walt, clever. PA working. Schrader. Something going oh down. my god, oh my effing god. Oh my, run, oh, Jesse. Well, well, well done, guys, well done, guys. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh my god. I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone. We're talking, just go. There, there. Oh, wait, 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 there. wait, wait. That looks guy like it's going actually down. Actually, wants Dig. to go to prison. That is wild. Oh, oh my God. Hey, right there. Don't move. Get the head there. Let's go. As if this is so good. The writing of this is sick. <laughs> I think about it. James Kilkelly. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is Hank feel like it's a bit off? Oh, I should bought him a mattress. That'd be Jane, won't it? Hey. You run home, so I let the delivery oh, guys in. Outfits. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, did he order it? What's he thinking about it? So he bought a bed. Oh, he bought the whole bed, but it's a mattress. <laughs> what is that, King? Uh huh. Pillow top. <laughs> mm. Oh, I like their little relationship. I just have a horrible feeling something bad's gonna happen with it, though. A really horrible feeling. Anybody else have that when they were watching this for the first time? Oh. Oh my Stop. god. Stop. Oh my god. Not in his place of work like that. You mind? <gasps> Not if people know in the area what Saul is known for. I'm uh, more of a humanities guy. It should be much, much harder for three hours, so I seriously doubt it took him more than Oh that. my God. Walter, I'm your lawyer. You say to me is uh, totally privileged. It's, I'm a lawyer. Even drug dealers need lawyers, right? Especially drug dealers. <laughs> oh my God. This so is what? wild. Is this of your heart? Uh, <laughs> No, you just Have got you like 50 rate? grand. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you keep the money? Is it in your mattress? Is it in a jelly jar oh, buried no. in the side yard? You know, this kid Mayhew may be the first of your guys to get picked up, but he won't be the last. And if I can find you, how far behind can the cops be? Yeah, that's true. What exactly are you offering to do for me? What did Tom Hagen do for Vito Corleone? Well, I don't, I don't no. get it either. <laughs> No shit. Right now you're Fredo. Proper introductions, who knows? I'll tell you one thing, you've got the right product. You're on to something special. And I would like so to So he's like an advisor. That's for sure. So if you want to make more money and uh I love money make, Saul. Better call Saul. <laughs> better call Saul. <laughs> oh, I'd call you Saul. I mean I hope I wouldn't even need you, but I'd call you. <laughs> that is crazy. That is crazy though. Oh, end of the episode. Sick. Sick. Such a good episode. Love that we got to meet this guy, Saul. He's so good. He's literally so good. I love that. Yes, mate. I love I loved this. I love this episode. I feel like now we're getting into the swing of things. Now that I'm like eight episodes into a second season, I've got something like to compare 
these episodes too from going back and like I loved a lot of season one I feel like season one like really grabbed me and I felt like excited like each episode I felt really excited I feel like a few episodes in this season have been a little bit like tear-jerkery and a little bit like sad I'm not gonna lie like a few of the episodes felt a bit depressing I don't mean that in a bad way I appreciate like episodes that that feel different you don't want every episode to feel exactly the same but I feel like the last two episodes of this have like really got me like gripped back into Breaking Bad and just the writing is so amazing. I absolutely love the writing in this. The actor's incredible. I love the chemistry between Walt and Jesse. I feel like we're getting a bit of that like banter back now that they're doing a bit better. Now that they have things like sort of going for them, I feel like that like funny banter chemistry is coming back between them. I feel like at the start of this season, it was like a lot more fractious between them and a lot more like tense and they weren't just having a good time with each other, but I love this. Absolutely love Saul. I am not being funny, but what a character. Saul might just be my absolute favourite character in the whole of Baking Bad. He's been in it for literally one episode and I love him. I absolutely love the addition of this character. This is exactly what we need. I love, oh, love this kind of thing. I love that we've got Hank in the DEA. So we've got like the perception of like regular law enforcement. And now we've got Saul. We have a criminal lawyer, not a criminal lawyer but a criminal lawyer. I love that. I just love the writing in this. I love the way that they have the characters interact with each other. Oh, I'm just absolutely loving it. The beginning bit really got me. All of these intros sort of start with something not fabulous. So it was, I did feel like it was going to be a cop situation, but God bless him. And it would be Badger. It would be Badger. God bless him. Eight. £50,000 to get him out. That is wild. As if that guy wanted to go to jail for 30k. Eight years for 30k because he likes it better on the inside. I wonder if there are actual people in real life that do that. I cannot wait for the next episode. Thank you so much for coming and watching this with me today. I appreciate you so, so, so much. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, head over to my Patreon, become an angel where you can see full length reactions and very soon early access to all the YouTube edits. Yes, your gal is finally getting in front. House of the Dragon and the boys are coming out soon. So I'm going to really try and keep on schedule with having Breaking Bad every single Monday, somewhere between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. UK time that these come out and I would love to see you every single week in the premiere. If you can join me, I would love that so much. If you haven't already, like the video, leave a comment, let us talk about this, let me know what you think about Saul. Did everybody else have the same reaction to Saul entering this? Do we all love him? Did some of you feel like he was a bit, I don't know, skeezy? I loved him. I loved everything about him. Not one word that he said made me think, oh, I don't know about this guy. Everything he said, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As always, my loves, thank you so much for being here with me today. I appreciate you so much. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whether it's morning, evening, afternoon, four o'clock in the morning, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you so fucking chopping much. I really, really do. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next one. Look after yourself, be kind, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Mwah, mwah. If you wanna be my lover, Maybe I should watch a Spice Girls movie for the channel. <gasps> right. I think that's us. <sighs> Just me, quite literally, on a freaking daily basis. This, this sums up me. Anyway, have a lovely day. Bye! <laughs>